What's up guys, it's the Fallout X, and I would really like to know what just happened right there. Um, I went for a sword swing, and it didn't give it to me. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you some Capture the Flag game, uh, actually King of the Hill gameplay that I played with a couple of my Xbox Live buddies. Um, today actually subscribers of mine, and who I had a lot of fun playing with, definitely. And I'm going to be showing you guys that gameplay after I finish showing you some nice little domes that I got during this game. Um... But yeah, we had um, we had a team of four people, all with mics, and that was just a lot of fun. Um, that's another one of the nice advantages of having a um, YouTube channel. I've got to meet a lot of cool people and a lot of really good people. Just f have a, I've been having a lot of fun playing with them online and stuff. Um, you know, especially just to give out names, uh, a little come give some shout outs out. Our um, Halo Rock, um, Frag Sy. I played my first game with him today. This is the game that I played with him, and you guys are really gonna enjoy. It. This is a cl very clutch win of Capture of King of the Hill. I keep calling it Capture the Flag. I don't know why, but uh, the primary weapon I use this whole game is the Needler Carbine, which again, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's a good weapon, but I do prefer the DMR a lot, uh, just you know, better. Um, and the shotgun I'm starting to not like anymore. I only like it really on infection now um, because, it's just, because it is just so um, unreliable, really. I've just found it to be very unreliable and like literally the assault rifle is better than the shotgun sometimes. But um, right here, this gameplay is Team Classic. Um, one of, one of, probably one of my favorite game types for Halo Reach. Um, it's a lot of fun. No armor abilities. I don't have to deal with any of that. Um, so that just makes me a little bit happier of a person not to have to deal with those. And right here you're going to see it's coming up why I do not really like the shotgun that much anymore. Maybe it's just, maybe it was just the game having a bad, you know, game with the weapon. But, uh, I don't know. I just was not feeling it today with the shotgun. And, um... This game, just more about the gameplay, I end up going, here we go. Like, what was that? Like, seriously? That was pretty ridiculous, I thought. But, um, about this game, I go 37 and something. I'm not sure how many times I die. I die a lot, though. And I keep nading for some reason. You're gonna see this common thing throughout this whole game. Is, uh, me, uh, I'm gonna keep nading Frag SY for some reason. And then one time in the game, I end up betraying him. Which... <laughs> I don't know, it was kind of funny because I, I went and watched this video again and realized how many times I drained his shields with my grenades. And so I found that to be quite amusing. And he was a good sport about it too. Um, and again, you know, obviously he's a really good player, as is uh, Rise Pro, whose uh, YouTube channel you guys will might want to check out. Um, it yoinked for the win. He's got some interesting videos. He does, though, he needs a capture card. Um, you guys will. Notice that he uh, unfortunately has a setup of where he films his TV and then talks, um, which isn't you know um, the best, but it's still commentary nonetheless. And um, so if you guys want to check his channel out, you know feel free, obviously. And then another uh, gamer who I wanted to, uh, I guess, give some support to is a uh, kicked Connor. Uh, he's on, I don't know if he's on my friends list on YouTube, but he is on, in my, uh, he's a subscriber, I believe. And so you guys should really check out his channel, because, um, he has some really cool hiding. I think they call it HLG. And he has some really cool, um, HLG videos that you guys might want to check out. Um, I think they're really cool. He's got some really cool places that he's found on, you know, different maps. Uh, my favorite one, though, was, uh, on... Can I, whenever I do a commentary, I can never think of the names of maps, and right now I can't even think of the map name that I'm playing. So if I don't put it in the title, um, if someone please let me know um, what it is, and then I will. Yeah, I will very much appreciate this. And um, but yeah, if you check out his channel, it's really cool. He's got some really cool like. If you ever play Infection, like he has some really cool hiding spots that you guys might want to use. I I think it's pretty cool. But um, yeah. If you have the time, I would go give his channel a little look because I think he deserves kind of a little bit more views than he gets. Um, I'm thinking about though partnering up with him and adding his videos to my channel if he'll 
if he's open to that, um, if he watches this video, I don't know. But I'm thinking about adding his videos um, to my channel, because um, then he can get the credit that he deserves, and then I get some really cool content that I can add on. And right here, I should have run away, but I didn't. Um, I was just really having a whole lot of fun uh, playing with these uh, guys, because all people I've met off, off of YouTube, and uh, just a lot of fun, really. This game was a lot of fun. And um, we do get a very clutch victory at the end because, as you can see, it's, right now it's 88 and rising. Well, actually, now it stopped. But uh, my controller disconnects right here, which um, I don't know. Always uh, is not a very good thing to have happen to you in the middle of a game. But actually, I think it ended up saving my life somehow. But <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Didn't enjoy that, but I thought I did. I thought it was, you know, you know I, don't know, I thought it was funny. But, um, yeah, as you can see, it's, yeah, 175 to 91, and, um, not, not really a whole totally interesting gameplay. I think it's pretty epic, though, like, the fighting, because we do a lot of team shotting, and that's the reason why I'm able to pick up so many double kills is because of it's some, you know, what happened is because someone, you know, on my team was shooting the guy and was able to get, like, a one shot on him, and so that was a lot of fun. But uh, I wanted to tell you guys a little story um, today, which is something I don't usually do, but I thought this would be a little interesting story I could uh, tell you. Um, it's about me and gaming, basically, um, how I became the Fallout X and how I started the YouTube commentating. And I thought, I, I don't know if I'll be able to finish the whole story today, but I'd like to definitely share that with you because it's just something interesting to talk about. And I think you guys might enjoy it. So basically, I first became involved in video games, I mean, and, and I mean in video games just in general, when I was like 8 or 9 um, with the Game Boy Color. Uh, the first video game I think I ever actually had was like a Men in Black Game Boy Color game. I did not actually own any of the Pokemon games um, because I don't know why my parents didn't want me playing it or something, I don't even know. But um, I never actually had those Game Boy Color Pokemon games. I did play them though. Um, but I never owned one of them by myself, and so I originally started out playing like little Game Boy Color games. I think I had like the dinosaur game from a Disney movie, and then I had uh, um, like, those chipmunks, those Disney chipmunks. I had a racing game from them, and I would play that, you know, secretly. Uh, I'd try to sneak it at night and play it. and here, there's a nice little portrayal on Frag SY. But, um, so, yeah, so originally my first gaming thing, I guess we'd, you could say, was uh, the Game Boy Color. And then, of course, I moved up to the Game Boy Advance, yes, and I played Mario. I de definitely had a lot of fun playing the Mario games. Those were fun. And then uh, my sister got, after that, a Nintendo 64. And she didn't really let me play it a whole lot. Uh, she was, uh, yeah, she weren't. I don't know. She just didn't want me playing her Nintendo, which was a bummer back then. I was kind of sad, but I would watch her play uh, Donkey Kong and Nintendo games like that. And um, after that, um, I still, you know, I didn't even know about the Xbox. I uh, got a GameCube, and. Um, the, my favorite game, one of my top favorite games um, still today, is The uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, I just, when I was little, I used to wish that I was Link. Um, that game just has such a sick story, and it's just such a good game, and I know that it'll, you know, people will definitely not forget that game for a long time. So, uh, if anyone of you guys have played that game, I think you guys will agree how awesome of a game that was. Um, I definitely miss it. Um, I moved on, obviously, to the other Legend of Zelda games of, uh, jeez. The Wind Waker, was that, that was actually a good game, too. I mean, it wasn't the original sort of graphics, but I, um, but it was still, a, it was still a really fun game. And I remember going to my friend's house, and we would stay up all night just playing Legend of Zelda, taking turns. Which is kind of lame if you think about it now, because now we have all split screen and stuff, but uh, for Legend of Zelda there was no multiplayer. And um, yeah. So, but that, I, that my, I didn't really play my first like legitimate shooter, I guess, until like, that I got into, I guess, you could say, was when I got, until I got the game Time Splitters. 
Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but that was a GameCube game. And um, I ended up getting Time Splitters 2, which was a very, very fun game. Um, um, definitely had some hidden, inappropriate comedy in it, but it was a, it was a pretty fun game. And as you get right here, Frag S Y goes on this like super awesome protection spree, and none of my teammates end up dying for quite a while. They actually that's why I've been able to be in this hill for so long, and that's how we get our lead back by me just sitting and teabagging in the hill. But um, back to my first ever shooter that I ever played, it was a uh, um, really um, was Time Splitters on the GameCube, and that was a really fun game. Um, I must say. Um, and I, I really got into that, and um, that's really was was where I was introduced to sniping, as well as games such as uh, Medal of Honor. Um, Medal of Honor was a really fun game. I would play that at my uh, one of my best friend's house. Uh, we would also stay up and play that game. But uh, unfortunately, though, since we were so little, we always would get stuck. And we would there was a certain place in the campaign where we didn't know where to go to move on and finish the rest of the game. I think it was Medal of Honor in the Rising Sun. Uh, and here, as you can see here, there's like no strategy. I'm applying zero strategy um, to this game. I'm just charging and just, because we were just really trying to win and we were getting all excited right now. Because like, as you can see, it's, you know, they're barely hanging on. I think we lose the lead again. We end up getting it back. But, um, and somehow I got a random showstopper. I don't understand how I got that. But, um, <coughs> So Medal of Honor was another shooter that I, you know, originally played. Um, Call of Duty, I ended up playing those, like, not Modern Warfare, but, like, Call of Duty 1, 2, and 3. Um, those are fun games, but those are a little bit earlier, and I ended up playing Halo before I ended up playing those games. Um, the game's about to end, so I will pro I promise to finish up this uh, story on the rise of the Fallout X um, on my next video. But again, uh, thanks guys, uh, Halo Rock, Frag SY, and Rise Pro for hopping in a game with me. I had a lot of fun playing with you guys. And uh, this was a super epic victory. Um, but again, I guess, I, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Um, rate, comment, and please subscribe and like. And um, so yeah, the Fallout X out. I'll see you Fallout and Frag SY.